Hey guys, uh, it is right after maintenance. Uh, we've just been shown uh, Blooming Lydica. Let's see what's going on. Ecstasy of fruitful blooming. I wish you could feel it too. This is such colorful language. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. My heart is pounding. Oh, dude, something Don't else is pounding for me, things. too. That's all I'm saying. Lydica ignores Biblis' warnings and enters the forbidden Twilight Garden, where she becomes enraptured by the seductive scent of a large, beautiful flower. This is, like, an insane, like, lore background, by the way. She is reborn as blooming Lydica. She just has, like, of her transformation a weird, like... Gets her human nature. Now, <laughs> she only follows her most primal instincts as a plant. Yeah, I don't know what they were trying to get here with the Lydica, but this Lydica is not PG-13. star Earth Elemental Thief. She has high effectiveness and can increase her health through her imprint concentration. Oh, so she does... Interesting thing to note here. She does have... Or originally people were thinking that she would have crit chance imprint like Winter because she has Winter's Sign. But she actually has HP instead. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Skill 2. Seductive scent increases speed proportional to the number of debuffs inflicted on all enemies up to a maximum of 70%. 70%. After okay. an ally, except for the caster attacks, when the target has a debuff, activates Thorned Vine. Thorned Vine can only be activated once every three turns. Thorned Vine attacks all enemies, decreasing buff durations by one turn and making them unable to be buffed for two turns. So it's an unbuffable, like, extra attack? To the caster's max health. Skill 3, Fruit of Ecstasy, attacks the enemy with a flower and grants skill nullifier once to all allies. Oh my god. Is greater than the target speed penetrates the target's defense, with penetration rate increasing proportional to the difference up to a maximum of 100%. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. This attack cannot trigger a critical hit. Skill 1, Twirling Thorns. Attacks okay, so she has a stun, a she has like a, a death turn. pending skill 3, Damage and her skill 2, to the caster's max unbuffables. When 10 soul is consumed, increases the effect chance to 100%. Blooming so, Lydica's artifact, Seductive Flower, increases effectiveness by up to 30%. Huh. After an extra attack, decreases combat readiness of the target by she... up to 20%. Can only be activated once looks like so she's a damage dealer kind of so it looks like she's a health scaling damage dealer but she's supposed to have debuffs players will be able to meet blooming Lydica through the limited summons this is very interesting because she's like a health scaling thief but she's a thief shall I kill all of them the hell cycle you in two I'll have to warm up. That is not very impressive damage. I'm so thirsty lately. Hide all you want. Uh okay, so she so this one has 23k HP. Skill nulls to all allies. I'll kill you. Once you start a battle, you must finish it. Uh so if you are faster than the than the enemy you do a bunch of damage i can't tell if the damage that she just did to emma landy was like significant or if that was like exclusive to i can't tell if that's like how much damage she's supposed to do to everyone or if it's hold on hold on hold on so okay okay when she does end up using her skill three have to warm up I'm so thirsty lately so Navy cat okay okay so the idea behind here is that when she's faster than the Navy captain landy she's she does more damage I don't know if that includes the fact that Navy captain landy has been pushed back or not So it does like 19.3k 19 19 .3 
damage to... Oh, her skill three isn't AoE. It's a single target. That's what it is. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So it's a non-crit skill three that gives skill null to everyone, and it penetrates like the the target's full defense. I don't know what the exact speed you have to be. The speed difference has to be, but it scales with H. So it's a high HP scaling skill three. Uh, that also pens, I guess, entirely. It, it does enough damage to one-shot the Navy Captain Landy. I was initially not very impressed because I thought that everyone got hit with the skill three, but it looks like it just one-shot the Navy Captain Landy. Okay, so, um... Okay, so the idea behind, I guess the idea behind using her artifact and I mean, this is an interesting kind of debuff because this is kind of similar to how with Winter, you don't necessarily have like a debuff or you're not really, or you're not quite like a an only debuffer. Like you also technically do damage. This is kind of the similar sort of case where she's not just like Arbiter Villager and is like a Leo Thief and has 5k 300 damage. She also just has damage or she just has like a debuff or she has some sort of debuff in her kit that she kind of plays around. Um, she looks pretty decent, at least, like, from what we've seen. Uh, she has, obviously, pretty impressive damage, because she one-shot the Navy Captain Landy, and I don't think there was even, like, a defense penetration that she was dealing with or anything like that. I think when she does the skill 3, yeah, there wasn't even defense penetration, and obviously, uh, her skill 3 pens, depending on how fast you are anyways. So this is pretty much just a raw S3, I guess there wasn't any Aureus, um, but I, I mean, what can I say? That's 19.3k damage, it gives skill null to everyone, and they just got blown up, so. I mean, overall, guys, based on what we've seen so far, I think Blooming Lydica is a very interesting character. Uh, I think she's obviously, I, I'm, I guess she's got great animations, and she looks great in-game, of course. Uh, whether or not she's going to be... I mean, I don't know. I think this is probably going to be one of the stronger characters just because of uh, the fact that she's not, like, focused on any one particular stat. Uh, you can obviously focus on some effectiveness with, like, her skill 2 and stuff like that. But as far as I could tell, if you wanted to just build her high HP and just one-shot something, that looks like what just happened here. Like, I don't think he really needed the burns or the unbuffable or the bleed in order to one-shot this Navy Captain Landy. And assuming that you can either do this to the Aureus or you could do this to any other character that has, like, semi- Decent high HP. That means that she's going to be a pretty terrific damage dealer. Damage dealer. Um, but anyways, uh, her skill or her artifact looks pretty decent uh, for herself. Obviously, because you want to have like a greater differential, I guess, uh, when it comes to debuffs. However, I don't know if the, the target speed proportional thing scales. The cat When the caster speed is greater than the target speed. I don't know if this means at the start of battle... Or if this is based on where, like, the enemies are, like, at the time of her casting skill 3. If it's the latter, you know, like, it depends on where you are at the specific moment. I can understand what you would want to use skill 2. Uh, however, otherwise, I don't really feel... I don't really know if there's a reason that you wouldn't just want, I guess... Maybe, like, RNL? Or maybe... Uh, I don't know, maybe Alabastian? I feel like these are okay. Maybe you just want to use uh, her own artifact, though, just for the uh, effectiveness or the, I guess, the synergy with the skill three and, like, the pushing back. However, um, great character or a great-looking character. Maybe we'll see how good she is. But, uh, again, a character that could just one-shot Navy Captain Landy is obviously going to be pretty decent in my eyes. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, I guess that's just gonna uh, that's just going to be it, I guess. Uh her skills look interesting, her kit looks great, uh, but she's a preseason character, so I don't know how great that's going to be because we won't really get to see how good she is until after things start developing in the preseason. She's not going to be available in the current end of season RTA because she's being released on 12-28, but yeah, uh, if you enjoyed or if you learned anything from today's video, I would really appreciate it if you check out the rest of my socials, or if you like, comment, turn on, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe. Uh... Let me know what you think about Blooming Lydica, if she's worth pulling for you, or if you think that she should be pulled. But anyways, I see, anyways I'll see you guys all in the next one. Adios.